Hi, my name is Rachel, and today we're going to install Raza Open Source on Windows 10. Uh, I'm going to be using Python version 3.8 to do this. First off, here's my system information. You can see that I am on Windows 10 and that it's a 64-bit system. The first thing that we want to do is to download Visual C++. So uh, the link for this is in the description below. Whatever the most recent version is when you're watching this video in the future is going to be the one you're going to want to go for. Um, for this one, it is the Visual Studio 2015, 2017, and 2019. I am currently filming this in 2021, but this is still the most recent version. So I will download the executable for the 64-bit system. And then once that has downloaded, I will launch it and follow the prompts to install it on my system. Once I've downloaded uh, Visual C++, which we need as a TensorFlow dependency, I also want to download Anaconda. Uh, so uh, I will say I'm going to show you today how to download Anaconda, the individual edition. So if you are not using this for work, if you're using it for work, you are going to need uh, a different edition. And there's more information here. But to download the individual edition, I am on uh, this page. Again, the link is going to be in the description. And you scroll down to the bottom to where the Anaconda installers are. And again, 64-bit system. So I'm going to download the 64-bit graphical installer. Once it's downloaded, I'll launch the executable and follow the prompts. So uh, agree to the end user's license uh, after you've read it. I'm just going to install this for me. And here's where you specify what destination folder or directory you want your Anaconda installed to be. I'm just going to go with the default one, but this can be wherever you would like. Uh, I would recommend on Windows not installing it in the favorites folder as that might lead to permission issues. I'm also choosing to add Anaconda 3 to my path environment variable and I'm just going to ignore the warning. Adding Anaconda to your path makes it easier to access but it's not necessary. Once Conda is installed we're going to launch the prompt. So I did this by hitting window key and then typing in Anaconda and clicking on the prompt when it came up. And now we're going to create a new environment to install Raza open source into. So to do that we'll do Conda create, uh, name, and then name our environment. So I'm just going to call mine uh, Raza install demo. So I know why I made this particular uh, environment. And then I'm also going to specify my Python version. Uh, and like I mentioned, I'm going to use 3.8. Yes, when prompted. Once we have created our Conda environment, now we need to activate it and it will be activated using the name that you gave it. And now you can see instead of base at the beginning of each line, we have the name of our uh, particular Conda environment. And before we install Raza, there's a couple of dependencies to install first, and it'll it just make your life easier to do it in this order. So Conda install uJSON, that stands for ultra JSON. Yes, when prompted. Uh, and then we're going to install TensorFlow, and this one will take uh, a little bit longer. It's a pretty big dependency. Installing this with Conda rather than pip is going to, particularly on Windows, make your life much easier. Finally, we are ready to install Raza, and this I'm going to do with pip rather than Conda. And now we have fully installed Raza, we can double check that by uh, checking the Raza help to see all the commands that we can use. And what I would recommend doing next, if this is your first time using Raza, is to run Raza init. And this will uh, create a new simple Raza assistant and walk you through the process of training it and talking to it for the first time. Thanks so much for joining, and I hope you found this helpful, and I look forward to seeing what you build in the future.